Today we're looking at the Tier CXT1 trainers. My first experience with the Tier trainers was at the 2022 CrossFit Games. I went to the Tier Gym Takeover to try on a pair and I immediately felt like they were the typical support bias trainer. And when a trainer is support biased, it's great for lifting, but normally it won't do very well for body weight movements like running, jumping, and other gymnastics and plyometrics. I was immediately shocked by how natural they felt when I was running and it really piqued my interest. And I knew that I wanted to dig into them more. So I finally picked up a couple of pairs at Wadapalooza to give them a full tryout and see what they're all about. And I wasted no time in getting some reps in with them both there at Wadapalooza and at home as soon as I got back. I've worn them every day working out and for my everyday wear too. And I've been really impressed. The upper is a flexible fabric that's soft and feels very comfortable. They have a great fit and the laces are very securing. I don't feel any heel slip at all and the sizing is true for me. Squatting feels solid, lifting feels good, and they've handled anything I've thrown at them very well. There's a small raised area on the inside and the out of the molded outsole. It adds lateral stability to the midfoot and heel that increases that stable, secure feeling during squats, jumping, and quick cuts. The heel also has a little clip that sticks out to reduce friction in handstand push-ups, which is a, a nice little thoughtful touch. They have a much higher drop than the average trainer, which makes them better for any squatting movement because of the added elevation in the heels. But what I can't understand about these shoes is that they still feel flat. Somehow, they feel just as flat as my Metcon 4s, and I love that about these. I would never know that they had an elevated heel if I hadn't been told. After trying them on at the games, I had a call with one of the top tier guys, Corey Berger, and he explained to me some of the reasons why they chose to go with a higher heel, and that the articulated forefoot of the shoe was also really important to them. The goal was to add mobility to the athlete and to provide a more neutral foot striking position. Other trainers with a higher heel feel good for light rep squatting, but when I add heavier weight, the fronts of the shoes are too soft to handle it, and I feel like they pitch me forward. The CXT ones don't feel like that at all though, and it's really amazing. Even though they feel great for movements that require stability, they still feel great for the light body weight movements and gymnastics. And running continues to be something that feels really good in these trainers. Now when I'm talking about running, I'm talking about the normal distances and workouts uh, and anything that's under like three-ish miles. Now I did just finish a hero workout with our gym. It has three miles at the end of it and they felt fine. I really like the midfoot stability that they have. The way that the laces tighten up doesn't make my feet hurt, but it definitely secures them for anything. So I've been wearing these as my only shoes during the open this year and I have been very impressed with them. The next piece will be I'll wear them through quarterfinals and see how they feel on some rougher, bigger environments, rope climbing and stuff like that. Now, speaking of rope climbs, I didn't really intend to do a durability test on these shoes just because I didn't really feel like it was necessary, but because of the rope climbs that showed up in quarterfinals and some of the programming leading up to quarterfinals, I did end up putting them through somewhere over 50 rope climbs total in the course of two weeks. And they performed really well and held up really well. About all the damage that was done was this little spot right here. And I'm pretty happy with that because I have a really, really aggressive descent on rope climbs and I didn't hold back at all. I've said this before in other videos, but a big test for me is when I leave and go out of town, what shoe do I feel confident taking with me that I can wear for everything? Whether I'm walking around, training, dropping into a gym, whatever shows up, will I feel comfortable wearing that shoe? And whatever shoe makes me feel the most comfortable leaving with one pair of shoes is my favorite trainer. Until a new shoe comes up that is better, these are probably the shoes that I'm taking with me when I go out of town. 
In summary, I think that Tier has knocked it out of the ballpark with these trainers. This is the first iteration of their trainers, and I'm very excited to see what the future holds for them. They're light, they're flexible, they're stable, comfortable. They're everything that I'm looking for in a training shoe. I'm probably going to be spending most of my time training in these until something better comes along or until they have a second version come out. And really, this shoe doesn't have very much competition for that top, top choice of mine and training shoes. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, you can comment or send me a message on Instagram. Please like and subscribe, watch my other videos, and keep an eye out for more to come. Have fun with these and happy training.